underneath, underneath. Okay, let me just see. More processing right there. Oh, ah! man, they're here. All right, their friends are here, bro. All right, looking good. There's access to the control room. Let's go ahead. Let's do this. Uh, oh, the freak. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to We Happy Few. The game is finally back, guys. We have a full, complete story mode. I saw this thing at E3, and I did not realize how excited I was to re-experience this thing. I played this game around about two years ago, where supposedly the whole experience has been revamped, and the game is completely changed up. Now, for those who go to, go to, go to, aren't really that familiar with this game, it's based in like a dystopian universe where all you're gonna do is take the joy pill, and you'll forget everything bad and just see happiness. Like, look at this home screen right here. Now, the problem with this place is when people decide to become a downer and stop taking their pills. All right, you know what? That leads to my next question. You're looking a bit sad today. Have you taken your pill? I mean, if not, we're gonna fix that right now. <laughs> Guys, look, the, the pill of like in the video, I didn't... I just wanted to use the mask, alright? Before this video kicks off, I want to give a massive thank you to the studio who's been working on We Happy Few. They provided me with a copy of this game, and they're allowing me to post it one day early, which is why you're seeing it right now. And other than that, guys, I am overly hyped to get into this thing. So many have been asking over the years for this game to return, and finally I can do so. And if you do want the next episode real soon, and I'm talking even tomorrow, I think you know exactly what to do. Take your freaking pill, alright? <laughs> we're back. Oh, baby, we're back. So press space to continue. Let's go ahead and do this, man. What? It's about to be popping off. Uh, we can sit down. It's the same thing as before. Should we experience this, dude? Oh, heck yeah. So, Mrs. E.W. Boa wins garden prize. Positive, right? So dig on. Oh, right. Brought out the negative. Prove the positives. Is that what's going on here? I think so. Send that one off. Number one done. Look at the next one. No swimming in the river. Oh, heavens no. Uh-oh. So you can see, guys, you cannot have any negativity in this world, right? Come on, it's a happy place, taking your joy pills. You just want to read about the good stuff, okay? Whether it be false or not. It's the way it is here, I'm afraid. And here we go. Hasting Brothers win the scrap gathering prize. Oh, God. Like a revolution. Whoa. Are they separated? It's very dangerous to put your hands outside of the window. Is that George? Arthur, where huh? are you? Arthur! How did you go? Arthur! Arthur! Ooh. Arthur! This is our past, isn't it, right? I should just take my joy. Shouldn't I? If I forget, is that right? Wait. So, this is it, guys. We can either hold E to remember, or we can take our joy. So here's the catch right now, okay? I remember in the last game, if you go ahead and take your joy, the game ends, all right? Good ending, done. <laughs> I mean, you choose not to remember what happened in your past, so of course, we're gonna remember this one right here, guys. We got it, all right? What it's all about. What really happened? Straight in the Percy. bed. So now we know characters. Percy. Arthur, Arthur, where are you? We lost one another, right? Oh, man. Well, that sucks. Arthur Hastings, so you see, that's us. What have you been up to? No one's seen you for hours. Oh, oh nose to the grindstone. Sure. You know. Then why haven't I heard a single whoosh through the door since 10 o'clock? Uh, Did you forget we're having dear about about birthday party? Oh. We've got a pinata. Let's not talk about that. Right. Brilliant. Of course. I'm still going pretty quick, though, in the back of <laughs> Of course not. Snug as a bug on a drug. You sure well, come about on that? then, finish up. Uh, just have a few more pages. I, I, I know you're very busy. Then don't take too long to finish. You're gonna pop another one? <sighs> yep. All right, look, nose to the grind, okay? I'm not staring uh, at that woman no more. The power cell's empty. <laughs> well, what will you do? Probably change the thing. Go ahead, I'll stand get a up. New one. All right, nice. If there were an emergency, would you be able to find the doorknob? Or should I tie a bright yellow ribbon on it? I mean, I mean, you can by all means. Like, looking pretty frazzled to me, so we'll go ahead and take that one, pop it straight in the bin. Uh, okay, I guess not. Aye. Store it for later. Place the power cell back in there. Looking like we got the power. Take a seat. Let's get this stuff done. All right, you can go. All right. That's your hint. Get the freak out of here. Right, we're gonna continue anyway. So look at this. There is now a curfew oh, in this effect at night. Mm. Mm. What are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. We'll look out for each other. We're That's young. what we'll do. Okay. Dang. 
Oh man, so we could censor it or we could accept it. Percival and Arthur Hastings were the surprise winners of the scrap drive. Arthur told the judges that his brother has a photographic memory. Percy knew exactly where all the old cars and prams and things were in the garden district. Percival himself rarely speaks to strangers, apparently. Go ahead and accept that one, alright? Okay, I'd agree. Seems like a pretty good memory, if you ask me. So, what's that? Good question, that's a good well, point. I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't all right. dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. About that. Wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? And I guess he didn't oh, come back. I made back. her a welcome back card. She's still there? I can't tell. Hold up. She's gone. All right, well, thanks for that. General Robert, being the musical liaison to the Occupational Authority, appeared on Parade Street late last night to speak to a crowd of citizens urgently requesting clarification of a new child registration rule. As most Wellingtons know by now, all children who will be under the age of 13 by July the 22nd must be registered with the authority. General Robert being classified that the deadline for registration is next Thursday, he refused to speculate on the rationale for the registration regulation. Uh, you know what? Yeah, right. I'm not a fan of this one. I'm gonna get rid of that. Yeah, be gone. Drug trials, a qualified success says Sir Robert. Looks like we're doing our job on our own right now. The first round of trials of a new anti-melancholic me medication have been qualified success, stated Dr. Alexander Gross, acting head of the McLellan at the Royal Victoria Hospital. The drug reduced mechanolonic feelings in 28 out of 30 despondent rats over a 20-day period. Despondency can be induced in rats by repeatedly giving them electrical shocks. Despondent rats take up twice as long to navigate a maze. After administration of the drug, previously despondent rats regained up to 50% of their navigation speed before administrations of the shocks. The drug now has to be tested in human volunteers. We'll accept I think that. we can look at that. Yeah, yeah, man, employee of the month. Look at that, okay? Okay, let's go ahead, stand up. So this is our office, okay? Arthur Hastings says take a read. Employee of the year, apparently. Department of Archives, Recycling and Printing. City of Wellington Wells. So we're doing good for ourselves right now. And the city is looking fairly pristine. I'll be absolutely dead. So bus driver, you may as well walk home, my dude. Search the file cabinets, I guess. Uh, nothing of use. Let's go on out right now. You know what? Close my door behind myself as well. The City Hall, 1964. Do you think the canister wonders what life's like outside the tube? Hmm. Of course, he'd have to break the tube to get out. Mm-hmm. That would break it for everybody. Yeah, you don't say. Very strange thought. Clive, Bert Whistle can't... Oh, we can open Clive that. Okay. Bert Whistle. Yep. You're off at the this? party, aren't you? I think in there. So he must be down the block. Uh, there was this, a business letter. Office looking a bit trash, you know, like he's missed the bin several times and still doing it clearly. And uh, looks like he had a smash in time. Okay, I'm, I'm moving on. Oh, let's see what Miss Bing thinks of your work now, Clive. What, are we going to be doing it for him? What the heck? All right. Farm workers expected to return from Germany, 1946, with the last harvest in and frost painting the valleys in Thuringen, well Wellington Wells. 129 volunteer farm workers are expected to return home within the next two weeks, states Mr. Robert Being. Each highly paid and well fed. That's I mean, right. you know what? I, I don't really care, to be honest. But we're going to approve that one, okay? I don't really know. You see that over there as well? There's like some kind of uh, war base thing, almost like a family. You can see that all on joy as well. So what the freak is this? All right. Okay, let's go ahead and close Clive's door. Let's go down a little bit more. So if I remember correctly, you can see uh, that says Prus Hones, a Prudence Hones, I think. Whatever okay. happened to you, Prudence? Oh, we can tell. One said, welcome back. What? Whoa. Um, this is totally different with the freak. I mean, you should probably get rid of that for a start. Uh, let's examine the pictures. Back, are you, Pru? Are you but back? Where did you go? Oh, he looks like he upped and outed right there. You know, he had big plans, clearly. And he acted on them. So, looking like Prudence had a picture on the side of two females. Maybe his wife and his mother, something like that. We'll search the cabinets, but it seems like that one requires a lockpick, all right. Interesting how some of them require lockpicks when I guess we can't even get them right now. Uh, Hopkins Jones. No, so, no leave me alone. Oh, dude. I took my toy. Who is I it? took my toy. No. This flashback it keeps happening. He's forcing it. That's an administration without any intent on that dude's part, okay? Oh, I see. Hi, Bad choice of words, okay? Look, the dude sees me. Um, are we are we good? Uh, hey, my god. Okay. Central processing unit. We seem to be a bit oh. behind in our work. Oh, you don't say. It. Wait, this is because we didn't take our joy, right? So I guess before we saw this place as like a perfect working office, we were getting all the work done. In reality, this is what was happening. That dude on that huge projector outside as well. I don't know what he's voicing. I don't care. Let's move on down just a bit more. Uh, I'll search some of these just as I go. Freak. You guys all right? Conference room. So this is the bit. There you all right. Are. You nearly missed the piñata. Very close, it's the most huh? adorable Spanish custom. <laughs> Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. Oh, I bet he did. smash it until all the sweets come out. Sweets, you say? Come on, hit it. Hit it. Okay. Don't pressurize me. I uh, know. 
I got this, okay? Harder! I haven't even hit Go it yet. Go give it a big old whack. Guys, don't put pressure on me. Really just... smack it. Now, let me think a sec. Go on, give it a big old whack. You ready? Hit Here it. we go. <laughs> and there you go, guys. The harsh reality. It's not good. Now that we're off our joy, we see exactly what's going on. <gasps> and they know. Lick at your freaking fingers. You are off your joy. Oh, my God. And this Take is it. Take one of mine. Oh, no. Gotta refuse. Oh refuse. my lord. He's a downer. Whoa! Call security. All right, we gotta we make a move. Downer. Go, Arthur, go! Yeah, that's how you do it. That should hold out for at least a second. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. What does Probably that say? A bad uh, time to ask for that raise. Yeah, really? Underneath, underneath. Okay, let me just see. More processing right there. Oh man, they're here! All right, their friends are here, bro. Hey, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got through. All right, we gotta keep moving, I guess. Dang! Look at this crap! Let me guess, it's locked and sealed, right? What? Take something, right? Here we go. Lock the first one. Oh, man! You smell oh gas? Flaming Nora. Forget him, there's no time! Dang. We pulled the pipe, right? Oh, my goodness me. Oh, this game, I'm so excited for this. This will happen next. We're all good? Ugh. Christ, I right. thought of those bosses chased me. Far enough. There were bridges, weren't there? And tunnels. To find a way out. I'm pretty sure you? I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village. So this was the way out? I mean, I guess you look at the condition of this place. It does not look well kept at all. All right, so I don't know what this thing is. It's a maintenance door. Uh, there's no way we're opening that. I mean, look at that thing. All right, let's get investigating. So last time we just literally woke up in a room after this uh, instance, but it's all changed up. Uh, barrel home distribution node. So, okay, I don't know uh? what that junk is. Caution, this may contain corrosive substances that don't drink. That answers that question. So this is where I came from. Hold up. They've locked the thing up. Those bobbies seem to have locked me in. Yeah. We're out. I suppose they were worried about the gas. Ah. Terribly thoughtful of them. <laughs> yep, you can say that. So let's go on through. Close this thing. Dang. Uh, search the desk. Let's get going. We got all sorts of things around here. A pile of coins. Oh, got a gas leak down here. Looking like this is some kind of, uh, like, storage zone. We've got, like, a uh, toiletry area, a lavatory. <laughs> Freak. Someone in there? Like, hey, can you help? Medicine cabinets. Okay, we'll search them all. We got something there. Medical supplies. Yeah, let's go. All right, dirty bandage. Look, it will do. Sovereign. All right, search the toilet. If you can't already tell, then this game is kind of like Dying Light with the whole free running thing. It does everything that you want a game like this to do. I saw the trailers and I was pumped to get back into this and I cannot wait. There's a big mystery going on down here as well. Looking like someone made those markings with deliberation. And uh, we do actually have a diary of Prudence Holmes. Prudence really did run off. Yeah. And she ran this way. Interesting. I wonder if I'll see her again. Maybe so. Uh, look, we're searching here. Bobby pins. That's some more. Tire string. Okay. Many things you can craft. The perfect idea for this game, dude. I'm just saying. Rupert Underhill memo. Um, look, we're going to be taking that thing. I got a lot of stuff to check through right now. Diary of Prudence Holmes. Was this a mistake? It seems so clever to disappear first, rather than trying to brazen my way across the bridge. After enough joy, they'd forget they had ever known a Prudence Holmes. Beastly Clive would take my office and then forget anyone else was ever in it. But now that I'm here, I wonder, should I have put my trust in Mr. Kite and were his bloody instructions in an abandoned house? Yes, but which abandoned house? They're all abandoned. And how to deal with all these wastrels? My God, they look like something out of Dante. We'd chase someone out whenever they wouldn't take their joy, but we never really thought about where they went. I knew we chased them out and joy made them sick, but I didn't know it was here to starve and weep and remember. I assumed they were sent to a sanatorium, a decent hospital, but I suppose that's what I wanted to believe. We are all complicit. We know without nothing and don't want to remember, so we don't. My God, I can't wait to get to the mainland. Rupert Underhill memo to Mr. James Watt from Rupert Underhill. He's not off his joy. He's just lost the plot completely and he's hoarding all the carrots and he growls at me when I try to eat mine. I'm going to try to talk some sense to him, then I'm coming back to the village, duty be damned. Do you feel the mystery with this game right now? It is so rich, okay? So, uh, the molotine distribution node. Um, look, let's go on. I'll need so some odds and bobs and bits of metal of to make a lockpick. Uh-huh. So let's go ahead and do that. Crafting menu. This is what we want to see. So you can see right here, I got some lockpicks. We can go ahead and make, I think, several of those, you know? All right. I'm just going to make a few. We've got two. That should there be the job. Uh-huh. Three years of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. <laughs> About time, huh? So let's go ahead and open this thing. So hold V to lockpick. Here we go. It creates like an audible noise then. So let's remember that. Maybe when we're like in a place where there's more people. Open the door. There's someone there. 
Hey! Uh, yeah, I, that was a bad call to make. What happened to him? He's dead. Electro shot. What the who? I'll take that. My guy, uh, how's it going? I guess we'll search him. You know, he is deceased. All right, there we go. He had nothing on him at all. Dang. Wait, what is this promises? What the freak? It's like a flashback. This is cool. Are they going to hurt us? No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I, I promise. This is so but, awesome, dude. But have they hurt the city? I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Uh-oh. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, me too. What are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. Okay. Interesting. You know how they're putting these little story flashbacks in? I'm into this. All right, exit. Nice, Ooh. shiny way. The hatch looks shut. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need a way to unlock it. Yep. There must be a switch in one of these rooms. There's a big old button right there. Looking very barren. Um, I'll try and access the hatch, I guess. Not too bad I don't have any other hatches to go to just yet. Unlocking fast travel hatches will allow you to quickly and safely travel to other unlocked hatches using the underground train tracks. That's nice. There you go. We got that one. So, uh, track access hatch, walk to another hatch. So we can't use that because there is no other ones powered at this moment in time. I guess we got to get in here. Hold E to swipe the key card. So there must be something around here. We'll take a quick look. Open the pneumatic stash. So these things are basically if we're in like a safe place, we can access this, access any of the items that we need. And I think that's how it works. Got a diary right there. Theodore Miner. May have been the dude who is now deceased just down here. No, that's Rupert. All right. Hold V to hack. We did pick up the tool. So I guess we gotta access this thing. All right, looking yes. good. There's access to the control room. Let's go ahead. Let's do this. Uh, oh, the freak! Oh my god! Wait, combat! Oh, oh man, that freaking swift jab! Dang! All right, he's doing some beatdowns on me right now. I'm not happy with this. Come on, freak. sit down, you dingus! All right, wait, wait. There you go. Sit down. Sit down. All right, I gotta run. I need some energy back. Okay. Keep my eyes on him. That's his health well, badge. Stuff up. All right, let's go for this. All right, stop him doing the swings. All right, sit down. All right, make it easy. That's the first fight I've won since primary school. Yeah, sit the freak down. That's uh. it's the first fight I've been in since primary school. Let's go ahead and search this dude. You did it, my guy, and he had nothing. <laughs> Waste of time. I'm telling you guys, look, they're all going absolutely crazy. So it was, it was him in the vent earlier. You see that? He was like making noises, so he knew he was there. And maybe Theodore is the one that made the markings too. Okay, we're gonna press the button anyway, I guess. That will give us access then to the upper floors. Yep. You can do it to me. Now before- wait, do I need to press it again? Hold up. It's already been clicked in. All right. Okay, this is Theodore. We picked up his diary. Hold up. I look into the lights like the doctor's ordered. I could swear I see shapes in there, moving around like shadows, but made of daylight. And there's shadows all around, always around the corner. September 19th, took two joy just so I could stand his ugly face. Why wouldn't it work? Has he swapped them out for something? Paracetamol? Jelly beans? 20th of September, I hate when he talks in that slow, condescending voice like I'm a child. I'm not a child, am I? I don't even know any children. What is wrong with my joy? 25th, I can hear him crunching in the dark. It isn't rats. It's his big, mossy teeth. I lie awake and picture squeezing his throat till he turns the color of my carrots. He bloody well stole. He's plotting something. Love how I can do these lines because I got the accent, you know? Let him try to weasel out of this one. I saw him writing those lies. Reassign me, will he? Off my joy, am I? I'm bloody well tripling up and he knows it. October the 6th, we've come to the end of our time. What did you do to the doctor, huh? That's the question I'm now asking. Okay, look, let's get out of this guy's face. Exit then the safe house. We're going up and out. This is going to be our first look into the city. Mm-hmm. Take a look what we got. It's so different, man. Oh, yes, let's go. The bridge. I mean, I've got to get to the bridge. Man, in the parade place. district, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. That will be tough. Ah, the train station. Yeah. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Great stuff. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. I suppose back in those days, we could remember where things were. <laughs> For sure, man. All right. So there we go, guys. We made it out. Quest found point of departure. So, yep. It looks like we're now out of where we once were. I mean, look at this place. Looks a bit damaged. We've got cars which are completely destroyed and signs of war still. Barracks is set up everywhere. Look at this game. It has changed up so much. I'm so excited to get going with this thing, man. It really does look like an amazing experience is inbound for this one. In peacetime, they'll come back. Liars. Yeah, no one came back and I'm sorry. So it looks like it's gonna be a case of the more we explore, the more we start to learn. This is also the very edge of the map and we already know that the water is very toxic. Whoa, look at that. So is that the bridge that we have to escape? You know, that looks like some kind of mainland facility. Hello? Casual phone ringing? I was just checking the place out. 
Uh, we'll go ahead and listen. For the benefit of Mr. Kite, the rabbit got into the garden. The what? rabbit got into the garden. Sounds like some sort of secret message. Is that me? Me? Isn't it? I I'm so confused. It feels like me, but it can't be. We search the coin box. We need a Jimmy bar. Okay. Now, this is interesting. Can I maybe maneuver up this thing here? I can. You can see a little bit over there, but not enough, I'm afraid. Um, we'll go ahead, we'll open the trunk. It's locked. I mean, we can unlock this thing, apparently. There you go. Okay, and nothing's inside. That's a hiding point, though. Okay. I oh, am coming thing. for you, Percy. I haven't got it all figured out, but I will find you. Uh-huh. So, heal thyself. Half health down. You know what? That's probably the best one to do first. So, collect two Gilead petals. Over we go. There you go. All right. Nice open space. You know, I'm not seeing a single person alive around here, which is interesting. It's this over here. I don't know whether to think about him in the present tense or the past This tense. is like some Alice in Wonderland crap. Tea party, we can pick that one up. So I think that may be a new objective. A rotten carrot. Uh, look, I mean, uh, desperate times called desperate measures, pause, yeah? Eh? I think it will, all right? I'm being honest. The Rose of the Gilead. The Rose of Gilead. Uh -huh. Maybe I can make some sort of ointment to put on my wounds. That's all Otherwise we need. I'll never feel better. We need to go ahead and hoard this stuff then. Hold up a sec. Take some more of the Gilead. We got also uh, a blooming non-such. Look, we can't take them, so it requires... You can only pick them in the dead of night. All right, guys, well, I spent a moment trying to figure out how to craft the healing balm from the things that I've picked up. I, I actually have no idea. Check this out. You go in here. Um, it says right here, you don't need to use this right now. Um, you can see over here as well, I've got the petals and you can craft the healing balm, but it only says I can drop it. So I don't really know what else to do. So that's gonna be one thing we gotta figure out as time goes on. Oh, okay, I can't still pick those because it's not nighttime. For the most part, let's focus on this point of departure. 370 meters that way, and I'm distracted already. Great. I hear voices. Uh, nice and slow. This is what we need. So we've got two times charcoal. Um, search the counter. Dang, it looks like a load of like rotten food and that's it. Oh, God. That smells awful. There is nothing but crap in here. You get the occasional one good thing. Bobby pins. Always important for picking locks and stuff. People somehow never notice Arthur when he's sitting down unless they're already enraged at him. This doesn't work at night. Uh, what the heck? I remember what we did. Oh, boy. There's a lot of stuff going on right now, you see? Okay, keep this sneaking. I remember. Oh, God. We gotta remember too as time goes on, right? A diary of Reginald Snell, we'll take it for now. Uh, search that and we'll take everything. There was a Jimmy bar in there, which is good. Oh. The heck? Oh, that's oh. terribly romantic, isn't it? Wait, can we, let's turn this off. They had each other until the end. That ain't... That's odd, dude. Taxi will take it. Oh. All right, he's sleeping there. That's a bit risky. Look what happened to Goldilocks. Dang, dude. That's a shame. I guess we'll search the bodies. Like, I don't really know what else to do. Rotten mushrooms again. If I eat something rotten, though, which I'm going to need to eat soon because my food is getting real low, I'm going to get poisoned. And this sucks. You know what? I'm getting the freak back out of here. This is weird. And that is why you never take shortcuts, okay? Stick to the objective at all times. Right, so this is our inventory. This is our crafting menu. Now I remember it, so let's go ahead. We can make some of this. Go ahead, click on that. There you go. All right, and that should be, I think, a side quest done too. All we gotta do is use it. There it is, so double click that. Let us go ahead, use that. All right, health is it looking works. cool. It does. I feel loads better. Yeah, let's go, man. Was never wrong about a thing like he that. got us, he got us. You know, I feel like I just wanna endlessly explore this place. There is so much going on, and I'm just, I'm fascinated by the whole thing. Like, the story is one thing, but hooligan camp, you see? If you explore, you find the little ways in, because this is sealed off, you see? But we could probably get around the back and go ahead and see what is going on inside it here. Head that looks pretty well buttoned up. Yeah. I suppose I can wait here till they throw a party for the whole neighborhood, or find a cleverer way in. Yeah, that sounds good to me. So that's all blocked up, of course. Fascinating, right? All this stuff going on in this world. Let's take a peek through here. Um, I don't know. The first signs of living people. I'm starting to think right now, is it worth going in and investigating right now? Warning you are trespassing. This is danger territory, guys. I kind of feel like I should come back to this as time goes on. It's uh, surely going to be a thing like traveling to and from destination. So yeah, we'll hold out for now. We only just broke out of Wellington, all right? Not wise. A second dude. Hey. Nice sims. Thank you. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to the village. <laughs> well, uh, I love well, this so I much, Well, I live in the man. parade. <laughs> Did? You won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. Okay. And a power cell. So we have Nowhere to go I into could the mug thing. a bobby? Right. <laughs> You're a brave one, aren't you? Okay. No. I'll trade you one. I'm Don't interested. to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. 
when they all catch the plague and die. Then I'll go back. Hatred. There's something I want a whole lot more. Okay. Those bastards in that camp over there, with the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. If you get them back from me, I'll give you my card. All Sounds right. quite dangerous. Yeah. Isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. <laughs> That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me in that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. Got it. All right. Well, what are they? My medals. From the war. Past. I won the DSO at Dunkirk and the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. And they just stole it from him. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Wow. F funny they thought it was. No, I only need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd have stole most of those too? We might right. find a stockpile, right? Well, I'll see what I can do. Oh yes. Oh heck yes. Man. Well, off I go to a I'm camp that heaven's alive. It's a bloody fortress. Oh yeah, we know. So we do need to lockpick that and we probably could, you know? All right, I want access to this place, man. Let me just check what's in here. Um, a capacitator. So that's what we need the power cell for. We've got a chest down here. Load of good stuff. Worth doing, definitely. Wow, that's the key card. I'm forced to pay for an open, I guess. I don't know why I wouldn't, so let's search it. We've got two lots of sovereign. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and craft ourselves a jimmy bar, okay? Go ahead, do it with me just as well. It's going to come in handy at some point. Make the lockpicks ahead of time as well. There you go. Got a vending oh, machine shit. here. Interesting. So we can buy all of the resources that we may need throughout. This is really cool, man. This game's doing everything I wanted it to do so far. This is a good sign. All right. I'm going to at least check this thing out. If we don't manage to actually get the objective done for the episode, we're going to give it a good shot, to say the least. Got to find our way into the camp. I think I'm onto it. Yep. Who wouldn't I kill for a sandwich? Looking for something loose. Hang it up there. Barbed wire all around the place. Could this be it here? I mean, look, it looks like the only spot in. I've gone around the place several times right now, guys, and it's all barbed wire everywhere. There is really no safe spot to climb through. Hold up. Around the back right here. Okay, we're not supposed to be and you can see all this stuff. Like, I don't know what it means, but I'm coming in, all right? And that's my excuse. First of all, lockpick this right here. This will get its entrance. Uh-huh. Looking good to me. Let me just look around, make sure there's nothing. So more bobby pins for the lockpicking. And I think that might be it other than the other bobby pins right there. All right, guys, I think I'm going to leave this first episode here because I've been playing for an hour and a little bit. I'm having a load of fun exploring the land so far and just seeing really what's going on here. These story mode quests, now that we're seeing this in the game, it adds a massive new layer to the playable experience. And I'm so into this world, I really am. Next episode, we're heading into the hooligan camp by the looks of things. I don't know how this thing is going to turn out, but it's going to be one exciting experience, okay? For this one, I am going to leave this one here and I hope you guys did enjoy this first look at We Happy Few. If you did, why not drop me that like creating and hey if you're new around here why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here so thank you so much for watching this video guys i of course hope you did enjoy and i will of course see you on the next one